Welcome to part two of Tour of the Lifts and the Escalators at Into Merry Hill. Now you probably remembered from part one, I was including the retail park area. So now, as you probably might know now, I'm heading from the bus station into the shopping centre, where the pet shop is located on the right hand side and located next door, the Poundland Pound Shop. All the shops along this part of the corridor does not have lifts, the first shop that does have a lift in the corridor is Asda. It used to be an Evans. It had bad reliability problems when they replaced it. And then it was replaced again by Fissenkrupp and goes up to the pharmacy and cafe. But unfortunately, this lift is still out of use as the cafe is still shut. And same goes with the pharmacy, which is really disappointing. So anyway, now let's go to the escalator just located outside. The next shop we come to is Marks and Spencers, best to be known as M&S. Now, as you probably might know, there is two stores here in Merry Hill. The first one is Men's Wear, Kids Wear and Cafe, while the other one is Women's Wear, Home and Food. Now, the Men's Wear store has an old Evans lift and O&K escalators. The men's wear used to be occupied by Littlewoods and there was a Woolworths located next door. The Evans lift is the last remaining original lift seen in the Merry Hill as most of the Evans lifts which were seen in other stores have been modernised. And this Evans lift is a good lift and finally it was working this time and it was in use. And the same goes for the O&K escalators. As, yes, as last week, I could not manage to get into the shop because the, the Evans lift was not working and neither was the escalators because the ground floor was shut. Anyway, let's ride them. OK, here we come for the lift at M&S Men, Home, uh, M&S Men, Children's and Cafe in Mary Hill. Here it is, finally back in operation. Here it is, nice old belt. Anyway, get down to the ground. Uh, this is an Evans capacity. Uh, 20 persons, 1500 kilograms. Let's get the camera. Where? This used to be where the hell it was. Anyway, here on ground. Let's go back to one. Back to one. Anyway, let's go. Anyway, here we go. Nice old Evans lift. Uh, the Evans door. Really nice. Nice old 90s Evans. Good fixtures. New lights. Been installed a couple of years ago. Here we are back at one. And we'll go to the escalators. And that's it. Come to the escalators at MS in Mary Hill. As I forgot to mention, this used to be where Littlewood was. Right, and we're lifted out. Here we are, open K. There's the lift. This is a bit of a similar setup to like Sears at the floor of the mall. So single file. Finally these are back in operation. Now there's the up escalator. Right. 
way here at the top and that's it and now along to the glass lift in the shopping centre but unfortunately this one was not working so now let's go along to the escalators that are located by the glass lift and is located by the Eat Central Food Court. The first escalators were Otis, but these ones are made by Cone. Anyway, let's ride them. What we need because of the, the lift is not in use. These are the ones that are located near the food court. Is that like Evan? And now to another set of cone escalators. These escalators are located near MS Women's Wear. These escalators are twinned together and they're the only unique escalators to be twinned together in the shopping centre itself. Okay, anyway, here are the other escalators at Engineering Hill. Uh, these are Karen. We take... Oh. This is the one near Brown Art. Or the Brown Art here. Cone escalators. And now along to Primark. Now, last week I could not get into Primark because there was long queues outside of the store. But today there wasn't. So I managed to get in and to film the escalators and the lifts. The escalators are fissing crops. Well, the lifts used to be fissing crops, but Cone has now modernised them with horrid Dewhurst buttons. Typical for Cone to have generic lifts. They should have gone for monospaces. And also note this shop has been extended in 2018 on a lower level to replace the old BHS shop. And um, I am going to do a review of the history of this shopping centre very soon to see what the shopping centre used to be like, especially where BHS used to be. Anyway, let's ride the lifts and the escalators. Fishing This is the lift at Tom Art in Murray Hill. These used to be fishing crops built in 2007 and they were modernised by Cone in 2018. Capacity 2,000 kilograms, 26 persons. There's some really sick hanger skills down there. They aren't long. Um, that's it. And now along to the lift that used to go up to the monorail station. It used to be a really nice old Schindler lift with a good announcement telling you to please stand clear of the doors. But sadly these days it has now been replaced by an Otis Gen 2 which isn't much interesting because the Schindler lift was very round and circular but now they've just replaced it with a normal standard type of lift. I really do miss the round lift. But I am going to include a photo of it um, in the original 
version when I do history of the into Mary Hill. So anyway, as you probably might know, I was only going down in this lift because the lift is awfully busy because it's always a busy lift here in the entire centre. And uh, I couldn't manage to film it all the way back up anyway. Um, so what sh I should now do is just get cracking on. And anyway, let's ride this lift. And now along to the other Marks and Spencer's store. This one is women's wear, homeware and food. And this store has the single file fist and escalators, but used to have a Keefley lift. But now it has been replaced by a Stanner and has the same announcement as the Piccadilly line on the London Underground. The Keefley lift used to have a travel button, but now... It is being replaced with floor numbers, upper ground and lower ground. Anyway, we're going to start first with the escalators and then the lift. Also note, between the two escalators, there is a staircase, which is not part of the lift and the escalator tour. So, anyway, guys, let's now start cracking on. So, we're just walking into the store right now on the upper level. So, now, I'm going to proceed towards... Um, so, now, I'm going to proceed and then get on to the escalators. Uh, down to the ground floor and back up and then crossing over um, through most of the departments and then along to the lift which is located by the fitting room and comes out by the bureau de change uh, which is the foreign exchange uh, located on the ground floor it's been there for a while anyway let's ride the escalators and the lift okay right here the escalators to Mary Hill these are made by Fisher single file as always Homeware, this is the main M&S store. Ground. Alright, let's go back up. Fish in. This is a very large M&S. Right, compare this shopping centre to right view. Meadow Hall in Rotherham, Sheffield, and also uh, Meadow Hall has um, House of Fraser as well, and then my Mary Hill Rotherham. Now we're going for the lift. Now we all know what this lift is. This used to be a key place, and you can now it's been modernised by Stanner, which m and tend to maintain these generic lifts. Anyway, here's the lift. Cool. There used to be a travel button, but now it's gone to lower ground and upper ground. Upper ground. Keyhole up there. Yeah. 
good house at lower grounds. Doors closing. Like we say, capacity 14 persons, 1100 kilograms. Year mob noise, 2016. Lift going down. Lift going down. Piccadilly line voice from the London Underground. Lower ground floor. Doors opening. We are on lower ground. Go back down to the upper ground. Back up to the upper ground. Doors closing. Doors closing. Lift going up. Lift going up. Upper ground floor. Upper ground. Doors opening. And that's it. The next shop we come to is Super Dry Store. Now, Super Dry Store has two floors and there is an Oakland lift, but unfortunately, I could not get to this lift as because the first floor is closed off and obviously it's just an Oakland lift. The next shop we come to is Boots. Now this time I managed to film the lift but I did not manage to film the escalator. And the lift here used to be an Evans, then it was modernised by Schindler and now it is modernised by a generic lift. Typical thing what Boots try to maintain these days. So anyway this time I managed to get in the lift but however it did have a voice but however, sadly, the voice is now being disconnected. Okay, anyway, here's the lift at Boots and Wormwell. This is the Evans, not my question, but now a generic. Go on. Capacity eight persons, all 650 kilograms. Lift And now into Debenhams, which Debenhams is currently in administration, but this shop has survived the administration. And now into the lift, which is a very nice, awesome 90 Schindler. But apparently the doors are quite knackered these days. And uh, the Schindler lift is the last remaining originals left to be seen in the shopping centre. And um, as you probably might know, I could not be bothered to film the ONK escalators here this time. Because I filmed them here last week. If you have not seen uh, my previous vlog tour, the lifts here at Merry Hill um, Centre. And also the escalators. So anyway... Here is the awesome Schindler lift. I used to love going in this lift quite a lot of times. However, it is quite very slow, but it does have an awesome motor sound, uh, which um, Schindlers have. They try to copy like Furs and Otis's. And this is one of the last few Debenhams I know to have old Schindler lifts. As Debenhams in Meadow Hall has a similar one like this, but theirs is a notice. Anyway, let's ride this lift. Okay, anyway, here we come to the lift at Debenhams in Meadow Hill. Here is the lift. It's an old Schindler. Original indicator. See the hole up there. Now going outside of Debenhams to the Kone Monospace lift. 
Unfortunately, I could not film the lift that goes into the centre management and the car park because that's still blocked off. And I couldn't even get into the lift in Next, which is a techno. Anyway, let's ride the cone eco disc lift and also the escalators. Anyway, here is the lift outside the Evelyn's at Mary Hill. This used to be Shinla, modernised by Lift and Engineering Services, and it got replaced by a cone. There it is. My favourite lift in the entire centre. Go on. Capacity 12 persons, 900 kilograms. Let's go up. Woo! Anyway, here we are going up. First floor. First floor. Go back down to the ground. Oh, and that's it. Unfortunately, I can't reach the lift over there because I'm still out of action, but there will be another one coming sometime real soon. So please bear with me on that. There will be another sort of lift here. So anyway, you're at the bottom, and that's it. And now along to Top Man and Top Shop. However, the escalator, which is a Shinla, is still not in use, but the lift is in use. But however, it is just a boring stanner, but this one is quite good compared to some. And um, however, the, the announcement in this lift, instead of saying doors closing, it's saying closing doors going up. Floor one, opening doors. And as you probably might know, the lift is quite interesting and it is very fast. Anyway, let's ride this lift. Anyway, this is the lift at Top Man Top Shopping in Mary Hill. Finally back in operation for me. Stanner. Past the 630 kilograms, eight persons. Go of one. Closing doors. Closing doors. Going up. They are going up. Now into River Island, which has cone escalators, which I couldn't film, but I did manage to film the Cleman lift. Right, this is the lift at River Island in Mary Hill. This is a Cleman. The lift, the escalators here are cones, so I can't get into them to be safe on them, but it's safety. Go down to the ground. Doors closing. Same details as Top Man Top Shop, 630 kilograms, eight persons. Ground floor. Yeah, ground floor. Doors opening. And that's it. And now along to the food court which has Otis Gen 2 lifts, which were installed in 2009 when the food court opened. Okay. Anyway, these are the lifts at the Into Mary Hill food court. These are Otis Gen 2's capacity, 2,000 kilograms, 26 persons, built in 2009. Not ground. One. And that's it. The next shop we come to is H&M. Now H&M used to have an awesome furs lift, uh, but sadly Stanner has horribly modernised it with horrid Dewhurst buttons, and I couldn't even bother to be filming the Fissen escalators in the shop, but I've managed to film this lift. However, the doors 
opening is quite knackered and even the leveling uh, takes quite a long time. Anyway, let's ride this lift. Anyway, this is the lift at H&M in Murray Hill. This used to be a third, it was modernised by the staff. It's got a one. Capacity 24 persons, 1,900 kilograms. Nice. Go for a one. Go down to zone. This lift is going down. Doors open. Yeah. Done. Done. Good girl. Motor. Yeah. Done. Right foot to the middle. And finally, into Waterstones, which has a really nice old stanner lift and does rattle when it goes up and down with loud creaks. And the doors open on different sides. On the ground floor, it opens on the front, while on the first floor, it opens on the right hand side. Just the lift at Waterstones in. Mary Hill, go on. This is a stunner lift, capacity 630 kilograms, eight persons. Bit rattly. Very rattly. Hi. <laughs> one. See that one, it's got these doors. Ground. This is the rattly stuff. Ground. And that's it. That is the end of the video of the tour of the lifts and the escalators at Into Merry Hill. We hope that you enjoyed my video, so hope to watch more of my videos very, very soon. And what we now need to do during this coronavirus pandemic, please continue to stay alert, control the virus and save lives. Thank you for watching.